Hey, do you like the PlayStation 3? Of course you do. What a console it is. Just look at it. What if I said to you that you might have missed out on some of the missed out on some of the games that some of the PS3, some of the best PS, some of the, the games, some of the best games that the PS3 has to offer? Well, then watch this video for 10, 10 underrated PS3 hidden gems. Just a quick note from the last video. Again, thank you for all the really kind, the really kind comments. I love the positivity. Um, as I've mentioned before, we focus on positivity here um, and not so much on comments like um, the difference, the difference between this show and my two year old is my two year old can finish a sentence. Haha, ha, very, very, very funny. By the way, you spelt the sentence wrong. Um, and, and the joke's on you anyway, because um, because I, I, I clearly can uh, fin fin finish a sentence, so. I also just wanted to, to let you know that um, my, uh, I parted ways, actually, with the editor of the first two videos that just uh, weren't up to scratch, let's be honest. Um, the editing wasn't great. I mean, I, I think I, I, before I did what I needed to do, but um, you should see uh, a considerable improvement in this video moving forward because I've actually gone with an overseas uh, company, uh, much cheaper actually, uh, and they've guaranteed that they will make me look better. So everything should be much better uh, moving forward and they look much more, or they seem much more professional. So hopefully everything uh, in this video will look so much better than they ever have before. And I'm, I'm really excited as well. So um, I'm hoping you are uh, with everything moving forward. Um, yeah. Anyway, on to the video. Um, it's not a, a ranking, just to say, um, they're just 10 choices, 10 games that are underrated, uh, hidden, uh, 10 underrated PSP hidden gems. No order. Um, but they're all brilliant, so. So let's get started. Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Yeah, is I this want the you right to way? wait until I. Um, yeah. So number ten on the list is Silent Hill HD Collection. Now, um, I mentioned this in my last video that I picked this up um, at a local charity shop. In fact, I got two of them. Uh, the other one's obviously open now, but this is the sealed one uh, that I still have. Um, so I never, I ne as I said before, I, ne I never really played much of Silent Hill. Two, uh, I got a, a little bit in the uh, through the game, but um, I was playing that game when my ex split up with me, so I just never ever felt like going. It always reminded me of her, um, so does a lot of horror stuff, to be honest. But um, so I just never really, never really went went back to it. Um, but I've I've but I've heard that these games are absolute classics. So two. Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. And so, you know, why, why wouldn't you want to play them in HD? Because, you know, I'm sure that's the best way to, to play them in, in HD. Um, and it will look good and play just as good uh, as, they, as, 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 they, as, they, as they as they used to. Um. I want you to wait until I... Silent Hill Homecoming is, is number nine. So uh, a game, uh, again, I've not really played the Silent Hill games and so I mean, I haven't really played this. I don't generally like playing uh, horror games because they, they, they just give me nightmares uh, usually. But again, um, I, I'm sure this one, this one got a lot of flack, I think. And, and you know, and actually maybe um, it's not as bad as, as some people say. Yeah, I um, you you uh, uh, playing as someone who's recovering in a military hospital, uh, from an injury uh, gained in service, in pain as Alex Shepard, uh, he's discharged uh, following news that his brother's missing. So, so yeah, can you find Alex's uh, brother in in Silent Hill? There's lots of weapons available, and you must battle horrific monsters and deadly puzzles uh, to find his father and the brother's disappearance. So, um, <clears throat> again, uh, again, that may be a game really worth playing. Uh, an un un 
Yes, number eight is Demon Souls. Now, I know what some of you are, uh, are probably thinking. Um, oh, he's always praising some Froft games. Yes, because they are all absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, and this one is, is no different. I know this game got lots of really great reviews when it came out, um, but that doesn't mean that um, it's still not an underrated game. I actually think it deserves more praise than it even got. I know it got like lots of uh, nine, nines and tens, but it deserves more than that, in my opinion, because you know it's an all time classic. And so I still think it's an underrated hidden gem um, in, my, in, my, in my opinion. Um, I've been playing it recently um, and uh, do you know what? I've just been having uh, an absolute, uh, an absolute blast with it. Um, I've really enjoyed it, and I forgot how cool things like the uh, the enemies uh, were, and I like the 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 the, the ragdoll physics uh, in it as well. Do you know? What? I was enjoying it so much. This, I was enjoying it so much that um, I, I hardly got any sleep, and so I had to call in in, in sick uh, to work. Um, because I was just enjoying it. And then so I just, then I spent the whole next day uh, playing it. So win-win really. Um, so Demon's Souls uh, is definitely a game that I would recommend you pick up on PS3. Heavenly Sword. If you're uh, looking to play, uh, to play something a bit like uh, God of War, um, then you'll enjoy this. This is uh, a, a game, uh, uh, a divine weapon uh, of the gods. Uh, no mortal can wield it without uh, pay, paying the ultimate price. The clan protect the sword from those who lust for its power. Their prophecy spoke to a boy born to wield the sword and save the world from... It, it's a game a bit like God of War. Um, and um, again, it's, it's a game that actually maybe deserves more praise than it ever got. Look, I got it for £2.50. In England like that is so cheap two pounds fifty you you couldn't I mean th there are so many things that you you couldn't buy for two pounds fifty it's so such I mean it's ridiculous um, and I mean they even turned this uh, it's got Andy Serkis in it as well by the way he did like some of the motion capture um, I've read uh, here and and also um, they made it into a movie and they used some, I think, some of this, the Andy Serkis motion capture in that as well, maybe. <sighs> if you want to play something not like God of War, but uh, uh, actually like God of War, then, then play God of War Ascension, because uh, this one um, is... Um, is God of War and if you like your God of War games then really I think you should like like this one although there was a lot of I think criticism at the time I, 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 I never really bothered to find out why but it's a real spectacle this game it's a prequel um, and if you like uh, Kratos uh, doing his thing ripping people up and killing things then then check this one out Lieutenant Cartwright sir if you've come looking for a fight, you've found the place. It seems the Chimera are up to something more than just digging tunnels. Say, look here, who brought the Yank? The Resistance uh, Fall of Man Resistance Trilogy. Um, I, I played um, Resistance Fall of Man uh, recently, um, and it's absolutely awesome. It cost me one pound uh, for hours and hours of uh, incredible uh, enjoyment. Um, it's basically World War II, but with aliens uh, instead of uh, Nazis. Um, and so you get all your normal kind of human weapons, um, but you also get your alien, uh, the alien weapons as well. Um, and they're really uh, lots, of, lots of fun that uh, give you different, uh, like you get different abilities with them. You can put a shield up, for example. Um, uh, so they're, they're really fun. And the game I, I really, really enjoyed. Um, really, really enjoy it. One pound, you can't, can't really complain at that, can you? <clears throat> I, I remember uh, years ago, I was on, oh, whoops. Uh, <clears throat> I remember years ago, um, I was actually on TV talking about this 
uh, about this game. I'm in my mid-twenties, um, through playing, I played video games my whole life. I've only killed about six people um, on a program called Games Night, uh, where there some uh, religious uh, groups uh, or whatever had complained about um, the fact that Manchester Cathedral um, was in the game and uh, I, I mean I don't really know what their complaint was but I remember that I made a, a, a joke on the show which was um, the game's called uh, Resistance Fall of Man not Resistance Fall of Manchester Cathedral. <laughs> It's been too long since you've come around. What's troubling you? Someday, and that day, someday, and that, someday, and that day may never come. I may ask a service of you, and that service will be to play the Godfather game. Yes, it's worth checking out the Godfather game because it's absolutely, it's, it's, it's absolute, it's, it's really good. I mean, um, me I remember home. originally playing this game on the PS2 and honestly, it's, it's so much better than you would think. The reality is though, classic game, no, classic film, classic game. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a really, it's a really great game. It's a really great game and it's worth it's worth checking out. Why I want you to wait until I <laughs> If you haven't played the original Condemned, like it's an absolute classic in my opinion and one of my actual uh, favorite games. You play a detective who's uh, hunting down a serial killer um, and then you find out that the, the serial killer is actually hunting serial killers so you're looking for a serial ki serial killer serial killer and in Condemned um, you get some really cool tools to to um, like uh, in the crime scenes where there's like dead bodies um, you're kind of um, using the gadgets to Try uh, understand like the the you know detective stuff really, um, and it helps you with you know uh, d your detective duties. Um, and it's got really uh, uh, there's some really cool combat as well in Condemned. Um, whilst you you do get things like you know your your handguns and your shotguns, um, you know there's also a lot of melee weapons. So there's a lot of uh, that uh, in there as well and you get a taser which is which is great um so i mean the original condemned is honestly an absolute classic but uh, that's not on ps3 this one is uh, though um and so now you're playing um again the same person ethan thomas but now he's got uh, longer hair and disgraced searching for his uh, missing partner the moon had a lover kwekuachu but Trickster wanted the moon for himself, so he suggested Kwekuachu come to our world and pick her some wild roses. Never trust a guy named Trickster. X-Men, uh, uh, oh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Um, now, uh, I know this is an Xbox 360 case. I don't, I don't have it on um, PS3 and it's too expensive to just buy it for this video, so... Um, uh, it it it's, uh, follows the plot from the uh, film, uh, which is which is a fantastic film, uh, by the way. So that's already a win. Unleash the razor sharp Adam Adamant Adamantium uh, claws, uh, feral instincts, and mutant powers of the world's fiercest hero, Wolverine, to uncage the story of how the ultimate weapon was uh, created. So yeah, it's all about um, uh, Wolverine. The, the 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 action in this game is honestly it's it's uh, far better than it, it uh, yeah, than, uh, it, it's been, than it should be. Um, it's if you're looking for something with a lot of violence, a lot of action, uh, then you're you're in, enjoy uh, X Men Origins 
uh, Wolverine, uh, but obviously uh, get it on the PS3, not the 360, because uh, that's the point of this video. So. Jason, will you hear the petitions before the court? No. The last one is Rise of the Argonauts. Uh, it's a game uh, um, that is uh, follows Jason. You know, for, if you've ever watched Jason and the Argonauts, uh, and I used to love those films when I was, uh, when I was uh, a kid. Um, well, he's, he's back and he's searching for the Golden Fleece. So the Golden Fleece can uh, bring people back uh, from the dead, um, which he, he really wants because his wife has been uh, murdered on their wedding day as well. I mean, if, I mean, no day is really good for your wife to be murdered. <laughs> on your wedding day. If, if the Golden Fleece really existed, who... Who would who would you bring you uh, back? Leave it, me to uh, your a comment. Uh, leave a comment in the in the comments. Um, put a comment down if you know who you would bring back. But try not to do any uh, any silly ones like Hitler or something like that. Uh, if uh, I'd br I'd bring back my dad uh, if I was if I had the choice. The combat in this game is a lot of fun. You get uh, to, to mix up kind of the weapons that you use. Um, you can use uh, magic uh, as well. Um, and not only that, you can um, you can recruit um, different different uh, 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 famous historical figures like Hercules. So you know it offers lots of uh, variety in that area, and it's it's just a really good game. So uh, it's definitely worth. Uh, checking out it's definitely an underrated uh, ps3 hidden gem uh, thanks for watching this video um, I'm, I'm hoping that you enjoyed it and uh, i'm hoping that you're that you uh, are in a that you agree uh, that um, when you watch this that you'll agree that the editing is much better in this in this video than it has been in the other videos um, i had some really positive uh, conversations with the the overseas uh, editing team uh, before uh, making this video uh, and so I, I have no concerns that the editing in this video will be as sharp as uh, and uh, so thanks for watching and um, I'll, 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 uh, I'll see you in the next one You know what gamers hate? When you purchase something and you don't get what you actually paid for. I bought a PS4 from a well-known auction website and it seemed like a good deal but little did I know when I opened it up There'd be a goddamn snake in there! People say there was no way that there was a snake in there. But there was, because it jumped out and bit me on my balls. I swear to God this happened! Now my balls are uncomfortable. I complained to eBay and they said there's no actual evidence that there was a snake in there. So I said, how about this as evidence? And sent them a picture of my balls. And now I'm banned! How's that fair, huh? I think we can put it plainly and simply, in playing a video game in which you shoot someone does not provide any sort of excuse for going out and shooting someone in real life. That is not a viable defence. It is not the game's fault. It is your fault. You are a nutter. But, but I think to deny... <laughs>